Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Tennessee with the frauditor who, well, apparently quit YouTube a thousand times and has come back a thousand times and decided that he wanted to quit a few months ago and then came back a couple days ago. AKA the frauditor known as Jeremiah Payne, Auditors of America, Last Days of Freedom. And he apparently has a grudge against his brother-in-law who happens to be a detective in the police department. Oh no, I'm sure that uh, your brother-in-law is not exactly happy with uh, who his little sister ended up with. I mean, it's only natural and it's only natural uh, for Jeremiah to be one big fat liar. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. A lot of you may know that Samantha's brother is a Gallatin, Tennessee detective. Piece of shit cop. Okay? Well, if that isn't the pot calling the kettle black, considering that even in the auditor community, you're considered to be a pile of shit. And apparently very easy to manipulate because Chili's uh, pretty much put you through the ringer a few times and milked you for a lot of money at this point. But hey, no honor among thieves, huh? Especially these two morons, Chili and this guy. They have been following us, his wife recording us, walking down the road, flipping us birds, him hollering at me that he's going to take my daughter and that he's already getting the police, to his police department to chump up some shit to take my kid away from me. You sound a little paranoid there, buddy. Uh, did you happen to take your uh, medication today? Or how about some proof of your accusations at this point? Because some video evidence would certainly be nice, seeing as how you love to film everything. You should be able to capture a few minutes of this, uh, uh, these incidents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that's not how you operate. I know you don't like to show evidence, but a little bit of evidence would certainly be nice. Everybody, his name is Walter Christian Booth. Walter Christian Booth of the Gallatin, Tennessee Police Department. I want everyone to call there and let his lieutenants know how he is stalking and harassing me because, one, he don't like me. He's never liked me. And then... Well, even in the fraud in the community, like I said, you your reputation is not exactly the greatest at this point, so it is quite easy to see why your brother-in-law doesn't exactly like you. You turned his sister into, well, something that's not exactly presentable anymore. Oh, boy, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm sure he'd be upset with you. Definitely now he hates my guts since I became an auditor, and since i had a little girl ever since we have little had a little girl he has said we'll take her and just last year y'all a lot of you will remember we had this problem with uh him and samantha's dad trying to take our daughter away from us but cps told them look they're not abusing her that she's taken care of you can't but now they're trying again guys and Everywhere we go, we see these, they'll be camped out in a parking lot somewhere, recording us, shooting us birds, Christian hollering at me, he's going to beat my ass. Like just then, he was at a red light recording us as we were waiting to walk across the road, hollered to me, I'm a punk ass, I'm going to get my ass and face stomped in. I said, bring it old boy up right here. And of course he kept going because he ain't nothing but a pussy fuck. Claims require evidence and extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. If you have the evidence of this, present it to the proper authorities and get it taken care of. But otherwise, if you don't have any evidence, then you got nothing. We got all we got is the word of, well, Jeremiah Payne, which really isn't worth a grain of dirt. Or right, I'm telling you, I don't give a f he's a cop. That mother keeps coming around me and my family. I'm going to take it as a threat. 
because he's already trying to take my fodder. That crazy son of a bitch is liable to grab her and just fuck her and because he's a fuck cop, get away with it. So everybody, call the Gallatin, Tennessee Police Department. Walter Christian Booth, he is a pet detective. Not really, but you know what I mean. Gallatin, and I want you mother to tell his lieutenant what he's doing. And this is three times within the last two days, and they've been in a different vehicle every time. They're changing up cars so we don't know where they are. And literally, they'll be sitting like right over there. Record us walk down the road, pull out, go down, park somewhere else, record us. That's fucking stalking, dude. They're crazy mothers who are obsessed and wanting my daughter. I will post the phone numbers to the Gallatin, Tennessee Police Department in the description and in the pinned comment. Guys, blow this up. This is huge, man. We have a detective trying to kidnap a fucking kid. So, Chris, Samantha's dad, can be around her. Who, keep in mind, and all of you know this, so I'm not exposing nothing that she wouldn't want already out there, or that ain't already out there. Her dad, who molested her, her whole childhood, and they're wanting my daughter now. Well, you had just stated earlier that uh, Chris had already had custody of that child for a while, and she was fine. Because, you know, those kinds of people have a history and will continue with that kind of thing throughout their entire lives until they are caught. So, which leaves me to wonder, if you're trying to slander this guy, kind of makes you wonder now, doesn't it? Uh Uh-uh. It ain't gonna fuck happen. It's not going to fuck it. Over my co-dead fucking Christian. And be a fucking Quit being a little bitch like your little fucking wife you got shooting me fired and yelling and recording my family. You're a piece of fucking shit, dude. I'm not threatening you in no fucking way. But you know what? I'm just going to end it right here because he says he's not threatening anybody in any way, shape, or form, pretty much. This whole video has been him pretty much uh, doing that. I mean, come on now, dude. If a lawyer saw this, uh, well, you'd certainly be in uh, trouble right there, my friend. You'd be up shit creek without a paddle. But hey, it's your life, dude. I mean, if you want to ruin it any further than that, uh, well, that's your prerogative. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, despite this man being totally insane. And I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?